Hi everybody, so this is going to be a Skyrim makeup tutorial. It's based on the iron helmet used by the Dragonborn. I'm starting off with Makeup Forever's Aqua Cream in silver. I'm going to spread it all over the lid and up to where my eyebrow starts. You also want to get the inside corner of the eye. Be careful though, you don't want to get up on your brow bone. I'm just using my fingers, you could use a brush if you'd like, but I just find it easier to glide the product on. Now I'm going to take my Tokidoki Robbery Palette, the Rapina Palette, and I'm going to use Adios, which is a matte black. You can use any matte black you like. I'm using the mozzarella eyeshadow brush from Tokidoki to apply it. You'll want to apply the black all over where you applied the silver. You want to concentrate on the inside corner of the eye. You want to get it up to where your eyebrow starts, and then we're going to go down with it along our nose. Don't go all the way to the tip though. You'll want to fade it out. You can use a finger or a brush. I use both. You can also use a clean fluffy brush. Now I'm going to use a 209 brush from MAC, which is a pencil brush. I'm using it to darken certain areas, like the inside corner of the eye, my eyelid, and where my eyebrow starts. I then pack on some more black with the eyeshadow brush. Now with an angled brush, you want to take the aqua cream and draw an upside down triangle on your lower lid. You want the center of the triangle to meet up with the center of your eye. Draw the lines and then fill it up. It has to be noticeable. Now draw a little line out from the inside corner of your eye out to your nose. Now line your eye as you would normally. Don't wing it out at the end though. Now, still with the aqua cream, draw a line from where your eyebrow starts down to where the black in your nose ends. These lines don't have to be really thin, because you want them to show up. Now's the tricky part. You have to draw a line above your crease line. You have to be able to see it when your eye is open. It starts at the line you drew from your eyebrow to your nose. Make it meet up at the end with the line you drew on your eyelid.
Now draw three little dots down your nose. You can use a small, rounded brush. I'm just using the tip of my angled brush. Now draw little dots along your eyelids. I ended up drawing seven. These dots represent the studs on the helmet. Now I'm using another color from the Rupina palette from Tokidoki. It's called Bullets. It's a shimmery silver. Now I'm going over all the areas I apply the aqua cream. Now I'm going in with a little bit more of black just to define the lines more. I'm going under the upside down triangle I drew under my eyes so that it stands out more. Make sure to darken the inside region of the eye and along the long silver lines. This will make them stand out a lot more. Clean the brow bone area if you got any eyeshadow on it. Sorry about my hair getting in the way all the time. Now it's time for the horns of the helmet. I'm going to use a color from Tokidoki's Soda Shop palette. It's called Mometo. It's a matte dark brown. The helmet horns in the game are really light, but since I have light skin, I thought they wouldn't stand out. I decided to make them dark brown with light stripes. If you have darker skin, you could use a light concealer for this. I'm just going along my eyebrow. Since they're kind of thin, I'm making them fuller. Where your eyebrow ends, you want to make it a bit longer and curved towards your eye. Drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Afric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard now I'm going to take a liquid concealer. This is the regular color I use for my skin. If you have darker skin and made the horn in a lighter color, then just do this with the concealer in the color of your skin. I'm making little stripes along the eyebrow. It's better to use a liquid product like this because it will adhere better to the hairs on your eyebrow. Now I'm going over it with a light brown shadow, just to fix it in. Now, take that same concealer and apply it on your brow bone. This will define the line we made on your eyebrow.
I went along and did the other eye, but now I want to darken some parts a bit more. I'm taking a black gel eyeliner to do this. You want to go along just as you did with the black eyeshadow, into all the little corners and along all the silver lines. I'm using a small rounded lip brush to do this. Drive out the empire from this land that we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Oh, hail to Ulfric, you are the High King. In your great honor, we drink and we sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all. Now with a pencil brush, go over the gel liner with a matte black eyeshadow. But this land is ours and we'll see it wipe clean of the skirts that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Don't forget to apply the black eyeliner under the silver triangles. See the difference? Now line your waterline with black. I'm using my gel liner. You can use a pencil liner if you'd like. Now I'm repeating the same steps on the other eye. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone, for the age of oppression is now nearly done. The eyes are done. Now if you want, you can move on to the face, or just leave it as is. I'm taking a small fluffy blush brush to do some contouring. I'm taking the same brown eyeshadow I used for my eyebrows, and I'm contouring the hollows of my cheeks. If you don't know where to contour, just pucker up, and it'll be in the hollow right below your cheekbone. Move along towards your temples. Since I have a really long, thin face, I got inspired by the wood elves for this look. I'm going to thin my face out even more. When you arrive at the middle of the cheek, make a line down towards your chin. Remember that this is really exaggerated because it's a fantasy look. To make it even more exaggerated, I'm going over with a dark grey eyeshadow. Now contour the sides of your chin to make it even thinner. I'm trying to make mine look really pointy, just like the wood elves. You basically have to make your face look like an upside down triangle. You can contour your nose at the tip, where you didn't apply the black eyeshadow. Don't forget to go under your nose. Now conceal your lips and the look is done. For some reason my camera stopped filming, I'm so sorry. Here are some pictures so you can see the final result. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I like making it. Please like and subscribe. Bye!